In the midst of the Cold War, the the space race was the ultimate battleground, and the Soviet Union was searching for its champion for the most daring mission, to be the first to orbit the Earth. Out of 3,000 candidates, the nation's best pilots, one young man with a magnetic smile and uncanny calm stood out, Yuri Gagarin. It wasn't just his skill as a pilot, but his unwavering temperament that captivated the selectors, including legendary chief designer Sergei Korolev. Yuri was subjected to a crucible of hellish tests, centrifuges that crushed his body, isolation chambers that tested the limits of his mind, and exhaustive medical examinations. His small stature, just 1 meter and 57 centimeters, proved to be a crucial advantage for fitting into the tiny metallic sphere Bostock 1. On April 12, 1961, humanity held its breath. From the Baikonur Cosmodrome, sealed inside his capsule, he uttered a word that would become immortal, Poyekali. Which means let's go. With the fury of rockets, he was catapulted into history. For 108 minutes that changed our perception of the universe, he became the eyes and ears of an entire species. He was the first to see the glorious curvature of our planet, a blue and white jewel suspended in the velvety blackness of space. His words, transmitted by radio, were pure poetry, the earth is blue. How wonderful. It's amazing. Upon his return, after a dramatic re-entry in which the capsule spun out of control, enveloped in plasma, he had to eject and land by parachute. The first man in space landed in a field, surprising a farmer and her granddaughter. The farmer had returned to Earth, but he was no longer the same. He had touched the cosmos and returned a hero, an eternal symbol of incredible human potential. 